is gonna be a tutorial, which I haven't done in a while. This video is paid and sponsored by Clinique Cosmetics. Clinique has an entirely new line. It's called Clinique Play With Pop, and they created four looks in this makeup line with the singer and pop, pop artist Zara Larson. I love her. So they collaborated with Zara Larson and made four looks. These are eight. Four looks in which they made a music video type of thing with these four looks on Zara. So it's just kind of like Clinique Zara. So I'll link them in the description box for you guys to check it out. Next up, let me hit you with some info. Clinique is having a competition with what? You can win one of these four looks. So all the makeup products that's used in, in these looks. This one's called Vixen Dance. That's what it looks like. And here it is, Bare Acoustic, which is, um, pretty sure that's Hey Mom, which is this one. Bold Country, which is this one. Or the one that I decided to do a tutorial on, which is Sweet Pop. Alright! Okay, felt my hair so bad today. Okay. So all you have to do to enter this competition is take a screenshot of this video, some part of this video, video that you liked, not one that I look bad in though. Post it on Instagram with the hashtags Play with Pop, Clinique Pop, and Add Clinique, and the winners will be chosen. So on to the video. Hey, honey. I decided to recreate Sweet Pop, which is one of the ones, and just like throw a little bit of sash on there. So I took my own spin on this baby. I like it because it's so light and so fresh, and this is just you know how I wanted it to be. I think it's so springy and young and fresh and I love pink so you guys know this I love pink so that I have a lip pink lip they sent me a little card on here which is really really sweet thank you <laughs> dear Saj here are the Clinique play with pop book featured in the Zara Larson look videos enjoy and play with pop love but yeah if you want to see how I created this sweet pop then keep on watching guys <laughs> So this is the makeup that goes underneath all the makeup we're going to apply in just a second. So whatever you use, usually underneath the makeup, so your base, your primer, concealer, whatever you use, goes here. So do what you got to do, boo-boo. I'm using concealer and primer. Um, it keeps me singing. <laughs> you got me, you got me good. And I'm just using a powder to set everything in place. Um, using a loose powder, you use you know whatever you want. But I really recommend this step usually because concealer and everything doesn't sink into the little creases. So yeah, I'm just setting my face and also applying powder all over my face too. I realize now, back at it, looking back at it, this powder is still on my skin, but you know we're just gonna roll with it. Oh, and here is me spilling and dropping all of my loose powder on the floor so it broke and just spilled everywhere. Great job, Sash. It's so amazing. Look at that. It literally went everywhere. Something always goes wrong while filming tutorials. Just FYI. <laughs> Okay, so after that, I'm just gonna start off with the eyes. I'm starting with this base color and I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelid. Um, it's not too specific, like it's just a very, very neutral color. And since we're going for a very neutral eye, I just applied it all over my eyelid and blended it up to my crease. So just literally everywhere. And then I took a little bit of a dark color and just applied it in my crease. So where, you know, the crease of your eye is. I just played around with it usually. It's just usually how you want your makeup to look like and how you want your eyes to look. And yeah, I just played around with it as, as you do. <laughs> I also took a highlight color and applied it in my inner tear ducts and, you know, high places of my eyes just to lighten up my eyes and make them a little bit more glowy and not flirtatious. My voiceovers. Okay, I'm just, I took the a little bit darker color too and I applied it underneath my eyes to just to make it a little bit more glowy, I guess. And onto the eyebrows, I took this pencil with the dots. And I was super excited to use this because it literally made my eyebrows so good. So I just fill in my eyebrows as I usually do. Um, you know, just fill them in however you want to. 
I'm addicted to the love that you're giving Every minute, every day I've been craving I don't want to get you out of my system Cause I like the way it feels from this is one of my favorite tricks for eyebrows, is to just take a concealer and just place it underneath. It makes it so clean and crisp. I press on fleek, a weak honeydew. Um, so I just blend that out and you know, make it look okay. So um, I'm going to go a little bit up on board on this part, but it's, it's okay. It looks amazing, but nonetheless. And after this, I just applied some fake eyelashes. You can totally skip this step and go straight to mascara, but I just really like Fake eyelashes, so that's what I'm applying right now. And so the eyebrow thingy that I used before is like a two-in-one. It's dual-sided, so the other side is a highlighter, which is what I'm using underneath my eyebrows. And it's like a champagne color, so it's very pretty. And after that, I went in with my mascara and applied it on my bottom lashes and my top as well, even though I'm wearing fake eyelashes, it just makes it blend so smoothly. <laughs> Tell me your heart, is it only me, is it only me you got on that car? Cause I need to know, baby, yeah, I gotta know right now. On to the face, I'm using this pink, very pretty blush and just applying it all over my apples of my cheeks. I am a very, very extreme pink cheek person. <laughs> I love cheek products, so I go very overboard with blush and stuff, but you don't have to, you know, just make it your own. Just do whatever you gotta do. Um, and this is so cool. I took the highlighter, oh, what? I took the eyeshadow that I used to just apply the highlighters. And they were actually so pretty to my skin tone. I was super surprised and so like pleased with it. <laughs> After this, I took a matte eyeshadow and just applied it as my nose contour. And you don't have to do this as well. And you can totally do this and also use this color as a actual contour. I just left my cheeks with blush and just my nose contouring. But you know, you don't have to, just go and make it however you want to. I don't wanna get you out of my system. Oh, cause I like the way it feels when you touch me. You got me, you got me good. You got me, you got me good. Now on to the lips, and I use a, such a pretty, 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 pretty lip liner. This is actually like one of my favorites at the moment. It's so pretty. And yeah, I just lined it around my lips, and this is such a fun part because you can literally make your lips, you can change the shape of your lips if you want to make them more like round or big and just go wild and crazy. So I just fill them in how my lips naturally are. And yeah, it's such a pretty, like, blushy color. And yeah. Oh, and I went over it with this sheer, like, lip color. And this is such a pretty springy pink. And I think it blends so pretty. This is actually, I've worn this literally every single day this week. So yeah, this is a legit lip color. Let's just say that. <laughs> and voila, this is it. When you come around. this sweet pop clinique spring makeup that's a long name like i said it's so springy and light and this is what i wear every day usually if you watch my like other videos where i do my makeup this is usually what i do so very neutral eyes and then still like the glowy skin which is what i love and obviously i show you guys how to put the eyeshadow on my cheeks that's my favorite part because oh my god the eyeshadow that's like shimmery so pretty for my skin though it's a very young and springy and very like glowy look which is I 
description box. Thank you again to Clinique, who was so kind to send me these things. I was so excited when I got them back in the just love it that much. I'm back in doing tutorials. I haven't done these in so long, so you know, if you like it, if you want me to do more tutorials, then give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so much, and don't forget to be yourself. Follow your heart and be brave, and do whatever you want, except for if it hurts you, or anyone else, or breaks the law. <laughs> you should be able to play with makeup however you wanted to. Wear whatever makeup floats your boat, honey. You're so pretty just the way you are, and I love you so much for that. Never be anyone else than you, because 